Pag-aral ako sa Australia and I earned my PhD degree because of the Australia Awards Scholarship provided by the Australian government. No? So when I finished my master's degree in marine biology in UP, mm-hmm. um, I became part of a coral restoration project here in the Philippines funded by the Australian Center for International Agricultural Research. And because of that uh, project, um, I got to know the Australia Awards Scholarship and it opened the opportunity for me to apply and I got accepted. And um, as like Dr. Moya mentioned before, we continued uh, to to be connected to different institutions in Australia even after our PhD. And that's what's happening to me. I still Mm -hmm. work with uh, different institutions in Australia and I'm able to do uh, the research as well here in the Philippines. So, and for the next question, if I pinili ko ba talaga sa mm. Australia na uh, mag-aral? Well, when I finished my uh, master's in UP, I applied to different scholarship program. But as a tropical marine biologist like me, Australia was always the first choice. Unang-una kasi mm. kilala ang Australia sa tropical marine biology program. You can, be, uh, you can find the best universities for this in Australia. And some of the best people and scientists working in this field are in Australia. Mm-hmm. And of course, the Great Barrier Reef, which is uh, the biggest coral reef system in the world. And uh, UNESCO World Heritage can be found in Australia, which is a great place to conduct research. And I think it's a uh, everybody marine biologist dream to come and do research in this magnificent ecosystem, the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah. That makes Australian education stand out, especially on your field, no? Dr. Dexter. Yeah. I'm sorry, Doc Moya. Yeah. I, I'll be speaking in Tagalog uh, with Dr. Dexter para mas maunawa, uh, for it to be understood by our viewers and listeners. So, Sir Sir Dexter, isa pang question. Ngayon, balita ako, bumuo kayo ng Australia Global uh, tama ba to? Australia Global Alumni Community here in the Philippines. Gano'n nakalaki po yung komunidad na ito at saka May mga pinaplano ba kayo mga pro, pro, mga programs or projects in the future? Well, uh, simula nung 1950s, no, um uh, meron ng mahigit kumulang 100,000 uh, Australia educated Filipinos. So, ito ay both uh, from Australian government scholarship and self-funding uh, Filipinos. And um Itong mga alumni na ito ay nagtrabaho na sa different sekta ng lipunan sa Pilipinas gaya ng edukasyon, government, and health. And they are really making significant contribution and impact in the society. And now we, the Australia, we have two uh, alumni group in the Philippines. First mm-hmm. is the Australia Alumni Communities Philippines and the Philippine Australia Alumni Association. And we have around 4,000 members in the database and also um the different uh, alumni which have different uh, expertise the grupo grupo rin sila katulad Uh-oh. ng mga nakapag-aral ng environment and sustainable uh, environment sa gender equality disability and social inclusion sa health and education and for my group uh, we created uh, what we call the uh uh, wing agriculture, aquatic, and natural resource, resources community of practice. So these are all alumni na, na nag-aral at my expertise in agriculture and aquaculture. And these are all volunteer work. And we have programs such as uh, outreach programs, mm-hmm. mga seminars and workshops, and capacity building to different communities and universities in different parts of the Philippines. So actually, uh, last uh, few weeks ago, hmm. uh, our group just had our annual planning meeting to really plan the activities for the whole year and next year. So we have a full calendar of activities. Wow, already. active na active kumbaga yung community ninyo, sir. At saka marami-rami na rin pala yung mga Filipino community or Filipinos natin na nag- a- nag-aral no, dyan sa, sa Australia para mas ma-develop at mas ma-enhance yung kanilang kaalaman. I'll go back now to Doc Moya. Doc, there's... Uh, Dr. Moya, there's actually some comments here that they are asking if they're looking to expand the community of Australian educated Filipinos soon. But on top of this, you're also awarding scholarships, if I'm not mistaken. May we get details about this one? Absolutely. 
So every year we provide around 50 scholarships for postgraduate study in Australia, and they go to some of the most high achieving Filipinos. But what is a bit unique about our scholarships program is that we don't just look at academic achievement. I mean, that's the first criteria. But in addition, applicants are required to say how they will use their education back in the Philippines. It's called a re-entry action plan. So we're really focused on making sure the scholarships that we give to Filipinos are put to use back here in the Philippines. So uh, I really hope your listeners are preparing the applications now because <laughs> applications are open until the 30th of April and you can find out more about it at australiaawardsphilippines.org. That's great. So probably, Sir Dexter, can you please invite no, ang ating mga kababayan? Baka they would want to experience the thing na experience mo rin no, nag-aral ka just Australia for, for the scholarship, please. Uh, so I'm inviting any uh, every Filipinos that are uh, want and planning to study in Australia to please check the website and apply for the Australia Awards Scholarship Program. It's uh, one of the best scholarship program in the world, and the Australian government will help you throughout the process from applying, from uh, enrollment, and even after your. Um, uh, your course in Australia, they will still connect with you and help you uh, throughout the, all the way. So it's really a good scholarship program and encourage everyone to check and apply for the Australia Awards Scholarship. 